when you're coming around with your wet puddle of paint gently coaxing it around corners and curves don't worry if you skip or miss a spot if your lines uneven if your first coat of paint doesn't cover completely it really doesn't matter the key to this is being on a work surface I have a stool that can uh, spin around and turn freely and that really helps once you get proficient at this you'll find that you move the brush a lot less frequently than you'd think at first. You end up accomplishing most of these curves by using the whole work surface, the stool I've got under me, or a lazy Susan, to turn the whole piece rather than to reposition or turn your brush. If you want to add flourishes to your lettering, it's very easy at this point. Again, I'm just very gently coaxing that puddle of paint. Don't worry about coming to a complete point where you want a quarter, a corner. You can always come back in again with a smaller puddle of paint and finish that very sharp clean corner that you want um, at this point before you fill in the letter you can use any style of cross hatching um, you can even get very fancy you can put in some flourishes um, some sort of floral patterns or something like that if you if you want the lettering to be a little more artistic looking It's all about putting on that wet puddle of paint and, and just manipulating the wet edge of that puddle to form the outside edge of your line. It's, it's Sorry. Part of the trick is to keep the paint nice and fluid but not too thin and try not to go too far with the line. It's very easy to add any sort of artistic flourishes or touches. Okay, stop. I want to go to a different